Hello? <laughs> Already off to a very silly start. It's Allison. Welcome back to another thrift haul. That's kind of not a thrift haul. We've been going through some family storage as part of this huge pandemic project. And in the process, we've been uncovering all of these amazing vintage and antique treasures. So today I have another collection of about 10 items that I'm so excited to share with you. Some beautiful, some charming, some quirky. We have a whole variety today. I think I'm gonna call this one a thanks mom thrift haul because she's been kind enough to pass all of these things down to me. So thanks mom. And yeah, if this is your first time here, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. Good to see you. Let's do it. Okay, the first item I have to share with you today is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It is this adorable little Japanese ox that is salt and pepper shakers. The salt and pepper shakers hang on the little saddle mount on this ox. It's just the most precious. It was made in Japan. I love that it's black and gold. It kind of goes with our kitchen decor, but of course not like an everyday item. I think this would be an amazing piece to have out at like a dinner party. Just such a great little conversation item. The bottoms of these salt and pepper shakers, instead of plastic, they have these really amazing little cork plugs. And I love that. And I also love how, how the ox is kind of smiling. You can see. <laughs> love him. Okay, moving on. I have this. Wait, this phone. I don't know why I love it, but I love it. I love that it's beige, it's kind of heavy. Mm. There's just something about holding a receiver. And honestly, kids today, they will never know the pleasure of like curling a phone cord in your fingers as you're talking on the phone. Satisfying. We have this out as part of our decor, just like a little quirky decor piece, but it also doubles as a fun toddler toy. Skylar loves to pick up this phone, press the buttons, pretend she's talking to people. It's, it's such a fun little piece to have. In the living room, <laughs> maybe my favorite item of the whole collection, and it's this amazing little 70s wall clock. I mean, what's not to love about this clock? The numbers, obsessed with this font. I love that it's red and I love the face. My dad actually cleaned this up for me really nicely. There were some repairs that were needed in the back and he kind of fixed it up for me, so thanks dad. Another thing I love about this is that I have an old picture of my mom and this clock is hanging on the wall behind her. That of course just makes my heart very happy. Next item is this gorgeous glass bowl that when you look at it from the top, it kind of reminds me of like a sunflower and the glass itself is really thick. The inside's super smooth. The outside has just the slightest texture to it, which is just really nice to feel. It has a small sticker, Blanco Handcraft, it says. The sticker I'm just noticing is in the shape of a hand, which is awesome. This is a great little um, centerpiece bowl. I think like with the seasons, I'm just gonna fill it with different things. And I think it is just so beautiful. Next item is kind of random. It's these two um, marble eggs. I actually have these on display with some crystals. So I just sort of like plop them in with, with a little crystal collection. I love this like mauvey purple and this nice warm orange. They're very fall colors to me. Apparently these were kind of a rage back when Funny Girl came out with Barbara Streisand. There's a scene where he gives her a blue marble egg and then apparently a bunch of people wanted these marble eggs and they made them in all these different colors. So that's fun. And they make the best sound when they clack together. Mm. Next item is this lovely wooden trinket box, which is as light as a feather. The carvings on this are so intricate. I feel like every single space is carved. For a little while, I had it downstairs in my yoga space. 
I was putting incense cones and a lighter in it, just as like a little storage container. The top kind of reminds me of a mandala pattern. I feel like it'll serve lots of little purposes. It's beautiful. I have another pair of salt and pepper shakers. I just love that salt and pepper shakers are an excuse to miniaturize things. These are little miniature tea kettles that are actually pretty large. The little salt and pepper holes are in the spout. I love the coiled handle. It reminds me of something you would hang over maybe like an open hearth flame. These also have those lovely little plugs on the bottom. And another beautiful detail are these little feet, you know? I love anything with feet. Um, just so many details, all the little hand-painted work, these little roosters on the side, so beautiful. I have another little trinket item, this lovely engraved brass cup. Growing up, I had something similar and it was for burning incense cones. So I feel like you could use this for something like that. I'm keeping this one on the windowsill and I was using it for a while as a little pinch pot for pepper. It's like the perfect pinch pot size. Next, I have this amazing straw bag. I wore this all summer and um, we've even had some warm days in September, so I just keep on rocking this, even though it is kind of like a summer thing. This bag is in amazing condition. I love that it has different tones to the straw on the side. These woven straps, the little bead accents. The zipper works perfectly. The inside, the lining is in great shape. It even has a little pocket here. I just love it. And I have a second one even to show you. Another little straw bag. This one is like a little softer. It has these leather details that I like, especially on the flap here. These big leather stitches are awesome. Has this nice flap closure and the strap is a little damaged at the top. But what I've been doing is just like tucking the strap in and using it as just like a big clutch. This is actually an old Liz Claiborne bag and there's a sticker inside that notes the US patent for the magnetic snap. Of course, the sticker just came off just now. So I guess that was a pretty cool <laughs> feature of the bag. This nice little magnetic closure here in the front. Next, I have a set of four Mercer glasses, these beautiful tall water glasses. Honestly, when you hold them up to the light, they look like they're made of stained glass. They are so, so beautiful. Um, the pattern is leaves and fruit. These just give me such summer vibes, drinking some cold iced tea or lemonade. These are so special. And I love that there's a set of four The last item are these lovely little hand towels. I could not resist these. I think they're so sweet. They don't match anything in the house, but I'll probably use them in the bathroom regardless. Every time I look at these, I notice something different because there's just so much going on in the pattern. You know how I feel about this avocado green. I love it. I think my favorite part of these towels is that there's the alphabet here across in this like print and script. I've also just noticed that there's like a little guy down here with a, with like a broom or something and a little dog. But truly everywhere you look, there's something to see. There's birds, there's vases, there's little filigree patterns, there's flowers, you name it, it's got it. I even love the, the little fringe here at the bottom. I think I'll set these out for the holidays or something that kind of give me holiday vibes, but really anytime because I just think that they are so sweet and so fun. I love them. So that's everything. Thank you for joining me for this one. This is your reminder that buying things secondhand extends the life cycle of that garment or item which keeps it out of the landfill, which reduces its carbon footprint and our carbon footprint. It's just a fun and easy way to acquire things with the environment in mind, which is always a really positive and wonderful thing. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the, the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and just let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're still here, thanks for joining me for this whole video. I love and appreciate you, and I will see you in the next one.